remind you that this is a dangerous space. And if you're feeling triggered, good. You got something to work on. In fact, I would love it if what you did is you went to the danger wall that's by the main coffee booth. It's only maybe halfway full of stuff you would do if you were dangerous. So I'm a little sad. Because so I thought you guys were thinking bigger than that. I want to say, look, there's no limitations. I can do what I want to do because I have the energy and I live in a world where I can do that. And when you create that world and that reality for yourself, it's really fast. You heard Geared Man stage yesterday with two other entrepreneurs who built hundred million dollar plus companies. One of them only like seven times. That was the meme. <laughs> uh, I started this movement in 2011. So that's only 11 years ago. And look around, so much has happened. I also funded it by doing a little bit of consulting on the side for my day job, which was a really good day job, I'm not complaining. But literally, that's what consistent effort, if you have a vision and you're dangerous and you don't have the voices in your head that say, I can't do it, I don't know how to do it, it's not possible, all that kind of stuff, a lot of what biohacking is, is realizing that the internal stuff that got installed without your permission, that that's holding you back. And some of it is, you know, it turns out that swimming in my mercury swimming pool was probably a bad idea. Right? It's okay that they're both true. And I have friends who say, no, it's mind over matter. I'm like, actually, if you walk into your furnace and sit there, it's not mind over matter. It's okay, right? At least right now, for most of us. And maybe they're right. And I'm curious about that. Maybe there is someone out there I haven't met yet who could say, yeah, watch me. And like sits in the first, like, yeah, I got this. I'm like, I want what you're drinking. <laughs> and that's okay too. But in the meantime, like, what is the upper limit? I don't know what it is, but why don't you remove obstacles that are easy and then remove the internal obstacles at the same time? That makes it really, really important. This morning is something I haven't done at the conference before. But it's something that many of you may have seen. I have an online membership and mentorship group called the Upgrade Collective. Woo! If you remember, raise your hands. All right, look at this. There's lots of us here, but there's lots of us going, in there. what, huh? So Upgrade Collective is an area where on a regular basis, I get on the phone, I get on a Zoom call, and I answer questions, and I talk about the new stuff I'm doing. And you can go to every, well, almost every one of the podcasts that I'm doing via live part of the audience, and we actually have a chat window. You wouldn't know this if you're not in the group, but if I forget to ask a good question, someone from the Upgrade Collective tells me during a podcast to ask the guest, and then I ask them, and sometimes we even just bring everyone in together. So this is there, it's available to you, and I think we have a QR code and a show conference for the Upgrade Collective. Guys, do you have that? No. No. <laughs> So, upgrade, seriously. I'm actually enjoying watching the dance backstage right now. It's not the Macarena. Anyway, I, uh, I don't know why it gets into the upgrade. How do you guys get in there? DaveAsprey.com, we have an app and all this stuff, but I don't know where to go to send you to log in. Yeah, this is awesome. What is it, asking you shall receive, or something like that? Yes, it is a QR code. Winning. Nonetheless, if you go to, it's ourupgradecollective.com is the URL, um, you can sign up for it. It is a $50 off thing during the conference. I just want you guys to be there because the community that's there where we support each other, answer each other's questions, help each other, grow and expand. It's very low cost and it's access to teach and it's access for you to learn in a structured way. It's awesome. So, one of the things I'd do is I'll do an intervention call with the member. Someone says, I don't know how to hack this. I need to bring it up. So, we've got someone, I'm going to do a live intervention on stage. And an intervention is, okay, let's hack something. 
The reason this is important, I was talking with Naveen about this at dinner last night, I want to teach you how to think. It's very different than teaching you what to do. So what if you knew what to do because you knew how to solve a problem, even if you didn't know what the problem was? So I'm going to walk you through a little bit of that. And Naveen and I, last night, just agreed we're going to do a whole episode of Upgrade Radio that's not about biome. It's actually just about how to think about any problem and solve it like a hacker would. So that's going to happen. Thank you, Naveen. In the meantime, one of our members is also our first franchisee from Boise for Upgrade Labs. And her name is Becky. You want to come up, Becky? Becky. She's coming from the green room now. And she's also a little nervous. She's quaking backstage. Or peeing. What? What, what, what are you guys saying? What? She's eating kale? That could be, could be a problem, yeah? Yeah? Okay. How was, how was the kale, Becky? <laughs> this is Becky Grandin. Yeah. Feeling nervous? Excited. Excited? Yeah. Oh, high five. Dangerous person right there. Okay. Now we're going to pull our chairs forward because if I sat here, I couldn't see you. Okay. Okay. So, tell me what's going on. Well, lots of things. Um, I have had a journey with my health and some current symptoms uh, that I'm facing. Um, really slow digestion, fatigue, um, basically um, some antibody, thyroid antibody markers. Okay. Oh yeah. Let's keep going. I'm gonna take some notes. And likely something going on with low blood pressure and low cortisol. The other thing that would be useful, since you are opening an Upgrade Labs, cryotherapy can be profoundly helpful for that. The squeezy pants, so those help to get lymph moving for detoxing, and when they squeeze stuff, you feel really good, as well as the red charger, our big, high-powered red light therapy. And when you do that, also improve circulation. So for many of us, you're saying, I didn't realize that I felt better when I do this because I'm raising my cortisol, I'm raising my adrenaline. And some people who are addicted to exercise, they're not usually the low blood pressure people. That's an endorphin thing, but you're not using endorphins to get energy. You're using that. So what I would suggest is, okay, if we're having focus issues, one thing you do is you go do a quick workout, but that's kind of inconvenient, and then you have to recover from the workout. So if you're tired all the time, so you exercise all the time, because you're tired all the time, what's going to happen? We well, hit a wall. Is what's going to happen eventually? Like I'm so tired, to exercise more, and, and it, yeah. it's almost like you know. Oh, there's some analogy I'm forgetting. Like you know, borrowing from Peter to pay Paul. Oh yeah. I couldn't remember who you borrowed from. Like, borrowed from <laughs> one of those guys with the other guy. So, what would you do if you just wanted to feel really good here? I'm a little over time, but I'm going to have to do my best here. <laughs> it's totally fine and ethical and normal to do what it takes to feel good while you're recovering. And so many people say, well, it's just gonna take you two years of suffering. You're just feeling really bad and you have to do like 16 enemas a day. <laughs> and, and literally, like there's almost like this, you have to suffer and just drink celery juice every morning. And sure, it'll cure your diabetes and whatever. <sighs> now, so one of the things I'm gonna recommend, even if you have that adrenal dysfunction is a cup of coffee in the morning. I had stage four adrenal dysfunction. I've lived through this. You need your life back. Have your salt, have some salt water, and then have a cup of coffee, which raises your cortisol in the morning right when it should be. It raises your acid levels in the morning right when it should be. And then as it metabolizes, it turns into alkaline things, which gives you endurance. You don't want to rely on coffee all day long. Consider taking some cognitive enhancing substances. We have a few vendors here who make those. <laughs> Right? There's even prescription ones like modafinil. There is no moral failing in choosing a pharmaceutical approach as long as the risks and the rewards are aligned with what you need right then. So if you take half of the low dose of modafinil on a day when you're feeling like a zombie, 
and you got everything done, including the healing activities you were supposed to do, that's okay. Right? It's just okay. And if you relied on some herbal extracts, some adaptogens could probably be helpful for you, that's okay too. And this gives you the energy to continue the healing process. Otherwise, like, oh, I gotta, I gotta, you know, Oh, I'm an entrepreneur, I'm opening my own great labs. I'm so no, don't do that. You don't have to do that. We have all the tools in the world to take away the tired while you permanently resolve the foundational issues. And that's one of the things that biohackers are really good at. Is any of this new to you? You're pretty experienced in biohacking. Uh, yeah. Yeah? yeah. Okay. What are you going to do differently after the intervention? Um... I'm definitely going to be taking some specific things to my functional doctor. Okay. Uh, looking for some prescriptions there for the cortisol and um, the modafinil. Is that what it's called? I would do cortisol and thyroid analysis to see where you are, see what you need. You can do a 24-hour cortisol test and all. But okay. looking at those until your blood pressure is normal, okay. those are going to be really important. Normally, I talk about testosterone and thyroid as the two big things, but it sounds to me like that probably isn't the big issue here. Okay. The big issue is, and it could be, I do some sexual hormones too, and the way to think about this, anytime there's an energy issue, you're like, well, huh, there's thyroid is the energy thermostat, let's start there, and then we look at the mitochondrial energy. So I think what you're going to find is getting more blood into your brain resolves most of your tiredness and focus issues, and then you continue your detox. Guys, do not feel like shit all the time because you're detoxing. You don't have to do that anymore. That's like 1990s detoxing. <laughs> if you feel a Herxheimer reaction because you detox too fast, it's okay. Do something about it instead of just laying there for three days growing sores on your face. I've done that. It sucks. Right? You just don't have to. Right? So choose the state you want. Use the tools. Some of the tools are mandates. That's fine. But the big ones that are here are soluble fiber or what's wrong. That's going to be your biome thing. Thyroid and cortisol and cognitive enhancers. And you're just going to have a very different day after that. Perfect. Becky, thank Let's you. Do it. All right.